So we talked before about making the biggest number possible. And the way to do that is by putting the digits in descending order. And that's because when we compare numbers, the first thing we do is compare the biggest digit. In this case, the thousands digit, both of which are 5,000. So far, they're the same number. Let's move to the next largest unit, the hundreds. Well, they're both five again. Crap. Well, moving on to the tens. Well, now this has a three for a 10 and this has a nine. Automatically, that makes the greater number 5,593. Legitimately does not matter what the last digit looks like. The only digit that matters is the first digit that's different. Obviously, the same digit in the thousands place, the same digit in the hundreds place, they're still neck and neck at that point. But um, once you get to the tens digit, it becomes clear which one is the greater. Same deal. These two are exactly the same. So we use the equals sign. Nice and easy. Order them from least to greatest. Well, 5057 is the lowest. 5700 is the middle. And the one with the seven in front is the biggest. Let's see. 989 is bigger than 899. Now, this is an insidious problem. I'm going to back up a little bit so that I can actually... Because looking at those two numbers, I see a whole lot of curves and it's very easy to lose track of the order of things. So be careful. Like when you see a bunch of nines and eights, it's very easy, even for those of us who don't have um, dyslexia or other kinds of, of learning uh, disorders, it can be very easy to mix up the order of things. So just take a second, double check yourself before you double wreck yourself. 350,000 is obviously the bigger, right? It has a hundred thousands digit. That means that it wins. These two numbers are the same. And then if I want to go from the least to the greatest, 715, 751, 755. That is comparing multi-digit numbers.